session is on database management system subject for module 1 the topic covered from the chapter 3 modeling using entities and relationships the various topics are year model and diagram year diagram symbols entity and entity types attribute and types of attributes types of entity and entity set what is year model the year model is used to represent the a real world object in order to analyze the a data requirement systematically to produce a well designed data base the entity relation model represent a real world of entities and their relationship between them the database is a collections of different entities for example if you take the a customer and the a bank are the two entities then with the help of an year model we will come to know what is the relationship between customer and the a bank whereas the customer can do a transaction in a bank the bank can provide the a loan to the a customer like a way that we can understand the relationship between the two entities through the year model whereas year diagram displays the relationship of entities that stored in the database in other words we can also say that year diagram helps you to explain the logical structure of the data Year diagram is used to represent the relationship between two or more entity and it can also be used to represent the properties of its own entity type. There are various symbols which are being used to represent the relationship between the two entities and also used to represent the properties of its own entity type. Let's begin with symbol rectangle. The rectangle symbol is used to represent the an entity type which can be a drawn in single line rectangle box. If any entity is having a single line rectangle box, we call it as a strong entity type because that entity type is having unique identification of attribute in the an entity type. Means there is a primary key is exist in the entity type for example if we consider an example of a student entity in student entity there is a unique identification of a particular student can be done based on his usa number or a student id same way if we take an example of an employee the unique identification of an employee can be done based on his employee number Next symbol is ellipse, is used to represent the properties of same entity type. It is called as an attribute. For example, if we consider an student entity, the various attribute or the properties of student entity can be student name, date of birth, gender, etc. Next symbol is double ellipse, is called as an multi-valued attribute of same entity type now what is multi-valued attribute the multi-valued attribute means the single attribute can have more than one value then such an attribute is called as a multi-valued attribute in this example the phone number and email id is a multi-valued attribute because the one student can have more than one phone number can also have more than one email id next symbol is ellipse with line is called as a key attribute of same entity type if any attribute is having a primary key of the same entity type in that case that attribute can be represented using ellipse with a line if we consider an example of student table or a student entity the student id or usn is a primary key such an attribute can be represented with an 
ellipse with a line. Next symbol is dashed ellipse is called as a derived attribute. What is the derived attribute? The attribute which derives the value from one or more other attribute of same entity type then such an attribute is called as a derived attribute. If you take an example of age attribute then age can be calculated from the other attribute of same entity type. It means the age can be calculated as the system date minus the date of birth of the date of birth of attribute of same entity type. Similarly, we can also calculate the total marks attribute which can derive the value from the other attribute like subject 1 marks plus subject 2 marks plus subject 3 marks. Then total marks we call it as a derived attribute. Next symbol is double rectangle called as weak entity type is represented in double rectangle box. What is weak entity type? If any entity does not have a primary key attribute then such an entity type is called as a weak entity type. But weak entity type can have a partial key. The partial key which gives a set of entities with same attribute from same entity type. Consider an example for bank payment entity type. In bank payment entity type, the payment number attribute can be considered as a partial key. The payment number attribute can give a set of entities with same attribute from the same entity type. Next symbol is ellipse join with other ellipse called as a composite attribute. What is composite attribute? The attribute which are divided into smaller individual part of same attribute then such an attribute is called as a composite attribute. Consider an example for student entity type in that the student name can be divided into three different parts such as first name, middle name, last name then such an attribute can be represented by using a composite attribute for the name attribute. Next symbol is diamond. Diamond is used for relationship between the two or more entities. Consider an example for student and the course where both student entity and the course entity is a strong entity. In that case, we will use a diamond symbol in order to represent the relationship between the two strong entity types. Next, example, next symbol is double diamond which is used for identifying the relationship between the strong entity and the weak entity type. Consider an example for example as student and the department. If I consider student entity type is a strong entity type and department is a weak entity type then in such a case we are using a double diamond symbol in order to identify the relationship between student and department entity type. Consider an example for student entity and its tier diagram. The student entity having a different attribute such as rule number, student name, date of birth, age, mobile number and gender. Let's see year diagram. The single line rectangle box is represent an entity type. Here entity type is a strong entity. The student is entity type is strong entity due to the primary key of roll number. The attributes are roll number where roll number is represented in ellipse with a line. Then such an attribute is called as a key attribute means the roll number is a primary key. Whereas age is represented in dashed ellipse means the age is derived from the date of birth attribute. Yes. Plus mobile number is represented in double ellipse means the mobile number as the one person can have it more than one mobile number. Whereas student name is represented as ellipse and date of birth is represented as ellipse. What is an entity? An entity is a real world things or an object which can be 
uniquely identified like person, place, or concept. Entity can also be defined as an object which are interest in the system of real world. There are two types of entity, tangible entity and intangible entity. Let us see what the tangible entity says. The tangible entities are those entities which exist in real world physically like person, car, customer, etc. Intangible entities. Intangible entities are those entities which exist only logically but there is no physical existence such as bank, account number, etc. Let us take an example between two entities. One entity is a customer, another entity is a bank. Now, customer can be considered as a tangible entity because the customer can do a transaction with a bank. The customer can take a loan from the bank. Whereas, bank can be considered as an intangible entity because the bank is logically existence but there is no physical existence of the bank account. What is an entity type? An entity type is a collection of the entity having similar attribute. Consider an example for student entity type. The various attribute of student entity type is role number, student name, age, mobile number and gender. We have each row as an entity and they are having common attributes. For each row having its own value for the attribute such as role number, student name, age, mobile number, gender. So we can define the student table as entity type because it is a collection of entities having the same attribute. Consider the student to the rule number 2 and student name is Vijay, age is a 28, mobile number is 9723423100 and gender is a male. Then the rule number 2 can be considered as an entity. Next topic is attribute. What is an attribute? An attribute describes the properties or characteristics of entity. For example, male, age, address, etc. can be attributes of student entity type. An attribute can be represented using ellipse symbol. Consider an example for student entity type such as role number, student name, age, mobile number and gender are the attributes of student entity type. An ER diagram for student entity type is where a student can be represented as a single rectangular box is called as a strong entity because the rule number is a primary key or key attribute. Where rule number is a key attribute, age is an attribute, mobile number is an attribute, gender is an attribute, name is an attribute. Different types of attribute. The first one is simple attribute, second one is composite attribute, third one is single valued attribute. Fourth one is multi-valued attribute, fifth one is direct attribute, sixth one is stored attribute, seventh one is key attribute, eighth is null value attribute. Let us see one after the another. The first attribute is simple attribute. A simple attribute are those which cannot be divided into the part. The simple attribute is also known as atomic attribute. If you take an example as a date of birth, the date of birth cannot be subdivided. Then such an attribute is called as a simple attribute. In this example, a student is an entity and its attribute are role number, student name, date of birth, age, mobile number and gender. Here, the age attribute of the student entity cannot be further divided. In this example, age is considered as a simple attribute. Similarly, we can also be considered as date of birth because the date of birth cannot be further divided into the sub part. Then such an attribute is called as a single attribute or atomic attribute. Next attribute is composite attribute. What is a composite attribute? An attribute that can be 
divided into smaller independent attribute is known as composite attribute. For example, assume student is an entity and its attribute are student name, date of birth, age, mobile number, gender and rule number. Here, the student name attribute of student entity can be further divided into first name, middle name, last name. In this example of student entity type, the student name is considered as an atomic attribute. The atomic attribute means the attribute can have only a single value which cannot be divided into subpart. But there can be a possible of dividing the a single attribute into the a smaller and independent attribute. In ear diagram, consider an ear diagram where student as an entity type and name is an attribute and its attributes are be divided into a smaller part such as first name, middle name and last name. Then this ear diagram is considered as an composite attribute for the name attribute of student entity type. Next attribute is single valued attribute. What is a single valued attribute? An attribute having only single value for a particular entity is known as single value attribute. For example, assume a student is an entity type and its attributes are role number, student name, date of birth, age, mobile number and gender. Here, the age attribute of student entity can be considered as single value attribute. Means its value cannot be divided or its value cannot be derived. Then such an attribute is called as a single attribute. We can also consider as date of birth. The date of birth cannot be divided into the sub part. Then date of birth can also be considered as a single value attribute. Next attribute is multi-valued attribute. What is a multi-valued attribute? An attribute can have more than one possible value for the particular entity is known as multi-valued attribute. For example, assume an student entity and its attributes are role number, student name, date of birth, age, mobile number and gender. Here, the mobile number of attribute of student entity can have a multiple value because student may have multiple phone numbers or can have many phone numbers. Here, mobile number is a multi-valued attribute. Similarly, I can take an example as email ID. One person can has more than one mail ID. Then mail ID can also be considered as multi-valued attribute. The multi-valued attributes are be represented in double ellipse symbol. Next attribute type is derived attribute. What is derived attribute? The attribute that can be derived from the other known attribute is known as derived attribute. For example, consider a table called as a student entity and its attributes are given in the table such as role number, student name, date of birth, age, mobile number and gender. Out of this attribute, the age can be considered as a derived attribute because the age can be derived from date of birth attribute of the student entity. The derived attribute can be represented in double ellipse symbol. In order to calculate or in order to obtain the value of age derived attribute that can be done as age is equal to system date minus date of birth attribute of student entity type. Similarly, we can also take as total marks as a derived attribute because the total mark can be derived from one or more attributes of same entity such as subject 1 plus, subject 2 plus, subject 3 plus and so on. Next type of attribute is called stored attribute. What is stored attribute? An attribute which cannot be derived by 
other known attribute is known as stored attribute. For example, consider an student entity and its attribute are roll number, student name, date of birth, age, mobile number and gender. Here, date of birth cannot be derived from the age of the student. Means, with the help of the age, we cannot obtain the value of date of birth. Same way, with the help of a total mark, we cannot obtain the value for subject 1 marks, subject 2 marks and subject 3 marks. Next type of attribute is key attribute. What is key attribute? The attribute which uniquely identifies each entity in the entity set is called as key attribute. We can also say it as a primary key attribute. For example, assume the student is an entity and its attributes are role number, student name, date of birth, age, mobile number and gender. Whereas the role number is a primary key. With the help of a primary key, we can identify the each entity in the entity set. Whereas the role number will be unique for each student. Then key attributes are be represented in ellipse with a line. The attribute which is having the a primary key, then such an attribute is called as a key attribute. Next type of attribute is null value attribute. What is a null value attribute? An attribute has a null value if either the value of that attribute is not known or the value is not applicable, then such an attribute is called as null value attribute. The null value attribute can be represented as blank in the table. If the attribute is having a zero, it doesn't mean that that attribute is a null value attribute. For example, assume a student is an entity and its attributes are role number, student name, date of birth, age, mobile number and gender. Assume a case that wizard doesn't have any mobile. It means the wizard is not using any mobile. In that case, the widget can be considered as an attribute for the mobile number is null because widget doesn't know about his mobile number. Next topic is types of entity. There are two types of entity, strong entity type and weak entity type. Let's begin with strong entity type. The strong entity are those entity types which has key attribute. The primary key helps in identifying each entity uniquely. The strong entity type can be represented by single rectangle box. In the given example, the row number identifies each element of the table uniquely. And hence, we can say that the student entity type is a strong entity type. Assume Second type of entity type is weak entity type. What is an weak entity type? Weak entity type does not have key attribute. Means the entity type does not have a primary key attribute. Weak entity type cannot be identified on its own. It's depend upon some other strong entity for its distinct identity. Weak entities are represented with double rectangle box in the EA diagram and identifying relationships are represented with double diamond. The weak entity type is having a partial key attribute which can be represented with dotted line whereas partial key attribute can give a set of entities with same attribute from the same entity type. Let us take an example for two entity. One is loan entity where a strong entity Another is payment entity, whereas weak entity. The attributes of loan entity are loan type, loan number, and amount. Whereas the loan number is an key attribute, means primary key attribute. In payment entity type, the payment number and amount are the two attributes, whereas 
payment number is partial key attribute. Let us take one scenario. Assume the person Ajay has took a three different types of loan such as personal loan, house loan and gold loan. So each type of loan having a unique loan number for personal loan unique number is 5, house loan loan number is 6, gold loan loan number is 7. So every month he has to pay a loan amount to the bank. Now Ajay is going to pay a three different loans of 5000 each with a single payment number. Payment number for personal loan and house loan is assigned as 55 and amount has paid 5000 and 7000. But when a payment entity type, when I give a payment number, I will get a two entities that's value. One is 5 payment number with 5000, another is 5 with payment amount is 7000. Now, it is difficult to identify who is paid that particular amount of 5000 and 7000. Now, in order to identify the relationship, the weak entity, weak entity can make use of the a strong entity through an identifying relationship with the help of a loan number. When the, through a loan number, the payment entity type can retrieve the information based on the payment number along with its loan number through it we can identify which person has been paid because each person is having an its own account number associated with a, its own loan number so when we use an identifying relationship then weak entity is become as a strong entity with the help of an another strong entity What is an entity set? An entity set is a collection of entities of the same entity type. In the example of student entity type, a collection of entities from the student entity type would form an entity set. We can say that entity type is a superset of the entity set as well as the entities are included in the entity type. For example, consider an student entity type with its attributes are role number, student name, age, mobile number and gender. From this student entity type, the entity sets are role number 1, Ajay, 21, age, 9743, 42401 and gender male is belongs to one entity set and role number 2, Vijay, 28, 9723, and gender male belongs to the another entity set. Rule number 3, Amma 32, 9743342300 and gender male as another entity set. It is a collection of different entities set from the same entity type. We call it as an entity set.